Good morning and welcome back for episode six. You are officially hired. You got the job. So I guess your interview went very well because that was the uh, topic of the segment uh, in episode five, the interview. And so the, the next thing is uh, you got the job. You're excited. You're about ready to start earning some money. And today, relatively short segment, uh, but it's just kind of like some business things that need to get taken care of to just introduce those things to you so you you know what, what you're what you're doing when you go in there on your very first day or your first meeting with your prospective employer. And that's just taking care of some necessary paperwork that the employer needs to complete, making sure they they have all the information on you so you can get paid and that everything's straight and narrow. So I'm just going to right out of the gate tell you what you need or what most likely is going to happen when you get to your place of employment for the very first day, you're there, you're ready to go. Uh, you'll, most likely, um, the employer is going to ask you for your social security number. Uh, so you you have a social security card. If you don't know where that is, you can ask your parents. Uh, you never want to give that information out freely, uh, but you do need that information for employment so you can get paid. So that's your social security number. That will go on uh, your legal documents so you can get paid, all right? So you want to make sure you have that. And again, I want you to, to know that you don't just hand that number out freely to anybody. That is something you need to protect and only use for official business purposes for yourself, okay? And you'll need that for the rest of your life. So you want to make sure you keep that card and number secure and accessible so when you need it. When you get into your employer, they're going to give you some forms to fill out and you won't know what these are. And that's why I'm going to go over those with you today uh, so that you know what you're getting yourself into. Now, uh, if you look at these forms, uh, I have them all here and, and then I'll have a, a link that you can you can actually bring them up. Uh, they look extremely official and there's a lot of information on there to read. I would encourage you to, to go through those, read those forms to learn about them because you're going to see them uh, for as long as you're working, at least in the state of Pennsylvania. And I know when you go to another state, they have their versions of some of these documents. The very first form that you're going to get uh, so you can get paid is called the W-4 form. And that's what it looks like there. And what the W-4 form is, it tells the employer how much or how you as the employee would like to have money taken out of your paycheck to pay for certain taxes that are required to be taken out of your paycheck. So um, that you want to go over with your parents, go over that W-4 form to make sure that it's filled out completely and correctly. And so that you know what, what the withholdings are going to be. Okay. The next form uh, is the residency certification form. And this is for local tax withholding. And again, it's a shorter version of the W-4, and this is at the state level. Um, you'll need to complete that for the employer. And then there's also a eligibility employment verification form, or the I I-9. It just states that you are a citizen of the United States and that you are uh, eligible to work in the United States. So those are uh, three official forms that you will have to complete. Uh, to finally seal the deal, you are hired and you can start working. That is an exciting experience. And I would strongly encourage you to, when you get these and you look at the link, uh, to look over them. Look over these forms. Uh, just kind of familiarize yourself. You just don't want to familiarize yourself. You just don't want to sign things without knowing what you're signing. But these are official government forms that you need to fill out because they will, you know, they need to make sure that they're hiring uh, the people who are, are, are permitted to work in the United States. And also you want to make sure that uh, the tax information's straight up as well. Now, uh, depending on the terms of uh, payment, uh, at the end of the tax year, you also be getting year, you also be getting a W-2, which just reports what the uh, how much earnings that you have made as an employee and how much withholdings have been taken out of your paychecks over the course of that fiscal year, which means uh, the time that you started working and the time that you'll need to report all of your taxes when you fill out your 
uh, tax returns and information in April. So you'll be doing that for the first time, which is also uh, pretty exciting, so to speak. So there you go. Uh, you want to make sure you, you have your Social Security number uh, accessible for the employer. Uh, you also need to make sure you complete the W-4s, the local eligibility verification uh, for withholding tax, and the I-9 employment uh, verification form. And all of your, your employers, uh, whoever hires you, uh, should have these documents for you. And then I'm assuming that after at that point, uh, they'll get you into some type of training program uh, so you can learn the jobs that you're going to be doing, learn the protocols and procedures of the place of employment. Okay, hope this helps and look forward to talking to you next time for episode seven. Have a good day.